Hello, this is Robert Monell, and I was the screenwriter for the 2010 web series, Return of the Bloodsucking Nazi Zombies. Now, this was based on an actual 1981 zombie film by Jess Franco. It dealt with Nazi zombies coming after coming back to life and attacking people in the desert. And it's not one of Jess Franco's best films. In fact, it's pretty bad in terms of just being a zombie horror film. But it's got some interesting things about it, as most Jess Franco films do. It's got footage, as you'll see right here, from a 1971 Italian war film called The Garden of the Devil. The Garden of the Devil by Alfredo Rizzo, that was a director. He was an actor in Bloody Pit of Horror and some early Italian horror films. He was also in uh, Fellini's Toby Dammit episode. Very kind of chubby, uh, joy de vivre type guy. Now, he directed this film, and Franco and Eurocine took the footage and put it into this 1981 zombie film. And that's what interested me. Taking this footage and putting it into a new digital format, which was directed by Alex Bakshev in Belgorod in 2010. He did a very good job with putting it all together. So you have the Jess Franco footage of the zombies, you have the 1971 Italian war footage, and plus the new footage, which we came up with thinking about it as I was writing it, and he was directing it. We had many conversations. So it's kind of an homage to Eurocine, the producer, and Franco's own ingenuity in making a commercial product out of stock footage and kind of very bad zombie makeup and also um, just a lot of ideas you've seen in many other films, but done in the special style of Jess Franco. It's an entertaining film. You can laugh with it or at it. Either way, it's very entertaining. And um, what we came up with, Alex added new scenes, basically with Dr. Orloff, another Franco icon, creating Andros, a new kind of zombie. He was attacking people in 2000, 21st century, 2010, uh, part of Russia where it was being filmed. And also there was a Dr. Mabusa character who was flying over it all in the space platform. So I wanted to have a science fiction edge, so I added that in the scripting. And Alex did a good job of coming up with a lot of low budget but very interesting and effective science fiction effects. So it worked out much better than we had hoped when we 